up, guys? Hey, everybody. Hey. So, so yeah. today's video, um, I'll, I'll let you talk about it. Sweet. So, um, we, we've been noticing Buzz is getting a little fatter, right? Uh, a little round. Uh, he started feeling kind of off one day. You can tell he was just wasn't moving around that much. Um, and so we took him to the vet and we found out actually that wasn't all fat. There's actually a very large mass. Um, so some kind of tumor uh, in Buzz. That's, uh, that's why he was getting so large so quickly. Um, it seems like um, <laughs> if we've taken him to the vet before and it seems like he was just, I don't know, just they just thought he was overweight and kept telling us that. And, uh, we just, of course, assumed. And so this time we, he, it was definitely a lump on one side that we've been noticing for like the last, I think we noticed it a couple weeks ago, like three weeks ago. But we finally took him in, uh, had everything confirmed. Um, I was, <laughs> I didn't mention that to her whenever I took, took it in, but that's what I thought it was. So we just chatted with the doctor. We have a few solutions that we're gonna try. Um, he's back to acting like normal. He's, he's at home. Him and his uh, big old tumor is just running around the house, just it's, being happy, so. It's on his spleen. It's on his spleen. Well, they believe it is, right? I mean, it's it's a vet, not one of the technicians. And so he took the uh, ultrasound. Um, he's like, I'm not very good at it. And do you mind if I do it? And I was like, all right, go for it. It's probably gonna cost a hundred or two. It's fine. Uh, I just wanna know what's in there. And so uh, he confirmed it. He's like, there's, it, I don't even have to be good at this to know that's a massive tumor. So uh, he said, it's not good, um, but we've had a, uh, someone reach out to us online. Uh, they have a possible solution for it. Um, well, not it's, it's, well, it's like, it's, uh, a it solution. prevents the growth of it and things like that. So it prolongs. Yeah. Possibly his quality of life. Right. And but. he, I looked at the report. So I was sent the report from the vet and there's a lot of good things going for him. Good hearts, um, you know, bad hips still. He's always had bad hips, especially when we did the whole Colorado trip. Him trying to get up that mountain was not, not pretty, but um, he's still, you know, still running around, still excited. Um, and even now he's still excited. Um, but yeah, we have him on a, a few things just to kind of prevent other symptoms from happening so uh, we're working around that while we try to find like what we're gonna do to move forward uh, so there's a possibility of you know operating but even the doctor I mean, doctor he was being real with me on a lot of things and so um, it was just hard to think about but it's, it's something we'll, we'll think about over the next probably week or so and figure out if we want to just give him the best life going forward and maybe he he goes for a while we don't know um at all i mean obviously we, no one knows these things so um yeah we're we bought him a toy today at the grocery store um we're giving him a bunch of treats wet food now well they don't they don't know like how long right the report even i think this is more of a liability thing <laughs> the report even mentioned like me taking him home and being prepared for the worst kind of thing um, but I think they, they, I mean, they have no idea, no, no clue. They don't know if it's, we would have to do like cancerous or, or further what, right? testing, right? That's also another thing is they said we can take him in to get like for some kind of checkup to see how, how bad it is and to see if it's operable. And then even the operation, they don't know if they're going to be able to get everything or like how he's going to act afterwards. So it's like two factors, like thousands of dollars just to yeah. find out if it's operable, Even operable. I and mean, then yeah. I'm sure quite a bit more for the operation um, and so I just don't know if I want to go that route quite yet until I, I want to see what he's acting like and I want to kind of feel it out just a little bit longer not not weeks I'm like, saying like just days while while we well, kind of wrap I our mean, minds around our, this discuss our options because I mean that's a lot of money that's a lot of money it's a lot of money that we don't necessarily have to kind of I don't know um, well yeah and we can like just drop all at once and then yeah, you know that's not even just I don't even know what the surgery would cost because from how bad it apparently is it would probably be a really extensive surgery um and I'm I yeah. also worry that he wouldn't even survive the surgery and then that would just be because not of how, the way we want how him bad to it seems to be and so. you know 
And so I'm I'm from the, the school of thought of, I mean, I grew up kind of out in the country. Like we had dogs, they all lasted different amounts of time, but we all gave them the best life we could. I mean, that's what we did. Um, and you know, we just, there's just always that one day that just things didn't go well, you know? And so it's just kind of how it is, but um, you know, if we can prevent it, if we can somehow, you know, get the money or, or we do like a care credit, I think is what it's called, or we pay it off, we might look into doing that. But again, we just want to figure out exactly if that's the best method going forward. Uh, the doctor, I mean, he phrased it in a way where he, he wasn't being heartless by any means. He was just being real, realistic, uh, realistic about it. So he was just saying like, not like, it's not a great option, but it is an option. Um, and he doesn't necessarily want to put that financial strain on people. I mean, and that's him not even knowing, like, if we are able to pay that kind of stuff or not. You know, he's just, you just assume those things. You know, it's like you kind of weigh a certain amount of money, you know, off of possibilities. And I think that's what he was doing. So that kind of led me in a certain direction, but that's why I'm giving it a couple of days. So it's like, but ultimately, right now we're just making sure he's he's happy he seems happy uh where he had a fever like 105 which is like 102 103 for a human um so pretty sick that one day and so that's that's the day that we took him in but he seems per perfectly fine now um you know he's laying down immediately after he walks around somewhere so he's but he's that. been doing that a lot lately he's always so, done that <laughs> yeah he's kind of always done that <laughs> and so i don't know if that's tied to the tumor or just you know him yeah. but well, and but I mean, I think back right to whenever he had his kidney issue, didn't they do scans then? Yeah. Would they have been able to see something? No, so, and I'm seeing differences even from like the last couple of weeks in size, like in his belly. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's, it's growing quick. And so if we can do something and we're just we, now that we can see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, growth. I think, yeah, I don't know. We're going to get something that hopefully will slow the growth of this. That's mm -hmm. the idea. And help him just have a better quality of life in the meantime yeah and then as long as he doesn't seem like he's in any kind of pain or distress or anything like that and we can just keep you know is it doting doting on him just make make him happy as possible I just, I just want to be with buzz um and you know like obviously this time's gonna hum, come at some point just he never wanted to come sooner uh, he's only like six or seven yeah. i think Somewhere around there, seven. I don't know. Not old enough for this. Yeah, so. This sucks. But it, it is what it is. Um, we just thought we would update you guys. because You're his family. Yeah, y'all have lived with us for a while. And y'all seen Buzz and Brady grow together. And uh, yeah, I think we started the channel right after we got him. Pretty much. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was like right around that time. So there's the update. Uh, obviously we'll have more soon because we're not gonna not make a decision. We're not that, that type of people really. So we'll have an idea of like, if we're gonna go to an operation, if we're just going to basically give them the best life possible. I mean, maybe that's even a few weeks away. We really don't know. Um, so not the best news for today, but Concerning what it is, I mean, or, you know, should, what it is, we're still in good spirits necessarily about it, I guess, kind of. Um, I'm just happy that it wasn't a sudden thing. Like, that's that happened to my last dogs, and it was, that was terrible. So, that's that. If you guys could just keep little buzz buzz in your thoughts and prayers, and you know <laughs> send him some some hugs and and kind words and we'll read them to him yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll read the nice comments to buzz and we'll think about a blair mentioned like a bucket list or something yeah so we can start doing stuff have him do all of his favorite things yeah. we have a little wagon so i mean we can take him around in a wagon if we need to <laughs> we got that for him we got that for him that's a buzz wagon that is a buzz wagon i call it a g-wagon now but it's uh it's buzz, buzz, buzz. But yeah, we just want to update the YouTube family, and um, that's it. Yeah, that is it for now. But we will update y'all soon.
Why not? I'll keep your yeah. No, I forgot what's going on. Right. Yeah. Either way, y'all have fun out there.